I think this year's Vuelta España especially is a very competitive, one of the most competitive Vueltas we've seen in the previous years. We've got most of the big names from the Tour de France this year, um, as well as some of the riders from the Giro d'Italia this year. So I, I expect it to be a really big, big fight amongst the main contenders, and um, hopefully it will be a, a good show for the public. Uh, uh, definitely, t tomorrow the time trial, no, no time for the individual classmen. What, yeah. your, what are your opinion? Do you agree? Yeah, I think at, at the end of the day, the, the safety of the riders always has to be in mind when designing, uh, especially team time trial courses, when nine riders uh, in such close proximi proximity to each other going as, as hard as possible. Um, so using footpaths and things like that is, uh, of course, not, not very suitable for a team time trial. But um, yeah, so I think that's a, that's a wise decision by the race organizers, and I, I thank them for, for making that uh, concession. Chris, you just showed that you are the best GC rider, at least in France. How do, how do you feel uh, before this World Cup? Um, I'm definitely not in the same condition that I was in the Tour de France. Uh, there's, there's no mistake about that. But I'm here and I'm motivated. I'd like to give it everything I've got. Um, we've got a really strong team and um, I, I've certainly got no issues in uh, slotting into the rest of the team and, and uh, helping to do a job for one of my other teammates, if that's the case. Do you have the still motivation as you had before the tour? I, I still have the motivation. That's the important thing. Uh, the condition isn't quite the same, but but hopefully, I mean, it's a long race. Hopefully, I'll be able to ride into it. Mr. Prom, your opinion about Nairo Quintana, please. I've, I've spoken a lot about Nairo, but uh, I think it's he's a great young rider. Um, he shows a lot of potential for the future. and. Uh, both of my Tour de France victories, he's been second. So uh, I think we can expect this This will be a, a rivalry between us that will continue into the future. Why to decide to come in the Vuelta? You were not sure about the run. What makes that you take this decision? Um, it's a race that is really special to me, the Vuelta. Um, I got my first professional victory here in 2011. Um, it was also the first time I wore the leader's jersey of a Grand Tour. Uh, so I've got some very special memories from the Vuelta and it's always a race towards the end of the season that, that I enjoy doing. It's, it's more relaxed than the Tour de France, but, but the racing is just as hard. Who is the favourite? <sighs> Good question. Uh, there are so many strong riders here, it's, it's difficult just to choose one. But uh, I'd say the, the guys from Astana have got a really strong team here and uh, I think they're, they're going to be hard to beat. Given your, given your history in the Vuelta, I'm sure it's a race you want to win one day. It's, it's a race I'd love to win, uh, there's no mistake about it. It's a, a special race to me. Um, I don't know if it's going to be this year, but um, I really do love this race and um, I'm happy to be back here. I think it's, it, you've got to remember, so I mean, if, if, if I compare the Tour de France preparation to the preparation in the Vuelta, for example, um, we base, or so far up until now, my whole season has been based around being ready for the Tour de France, and that, that into, uh, includes uh, blocks of altitude training um, to, to, to really time the, the conditioning perfectly so that I arrive at the Tour in, in the best shape possible. Um, this Vuelta, I'm basically doing it on the back of a Tour de France, on, on the form that I had at the Tour, and just coming in with, with what I've got. It's, it's not, th they're two very different different scenarios. Um, um, last, year, last year when I crashed out of the Tour de France uh, on, on stage four already, stage four, stage five, sorry, I can't remember. Um, it, it gave me a lot more time to, to get myself ready for, for last year's Vuelta, so that, it's quite different in, in a few regards. Is it obvious you at the key mom moments of these Vuelta? Um, <clears throat> uh, we know it's not going to be tomorrow's team time <laughs> trial. <laughs> um, I think, I think we can expect, uh, I think in the second week of, of the Vuelta, so from stage 10, 11, uh, that the Andorra stage stands out as, as the killer stage of, of this year's Vuelta. Um, but what's interesting also is the, the time trial, I think on stage 17, 40 kilometers predominantly flat. That, that would make it a, a good balance between the, the pure climbers and the guys who can do also strong time trials. So I'm looking forward to that.